okay, I may be filming the video where my hair finally falls out. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're ruining my hair for the millionth time. So I've done this video a million times. And anytime I change my, I change my hair and I don't record it and film a video for it, you guys are like mad at me. So again, we're going to do today a purple to orange moment, hopefully. Again, if everything goes according to plan. So my hair right now is a combination of pinks and purples and it's kind of a darker purple towards the ends. I also have one spot in here. It looks kind of blue for some reason. I'm not really sure why, but it's a whole bunch of different colors and I'm going to dye my hair, take this color out and remove it and make my hair pretty orange, hopefully today. So I did only have this purple hair for a month this time. I was supposed to have it for longer, but having a wedding in June and my roots are bad and I don't want to like bleach my roots and add more purple on top and keep layering purple dye just for me to remove it a month and a half from now so i'm gonna go ahead and get orange and just stay that orange is the hardest color to maintain i dyed my hair purple so i wouldn't have to maintain all the colors anymore but you know plans change everything was pushed sooner so here we are i already have my concoction which is this l'oreal technique color remover you can buy this at Sally's it is 550 the lady at the Sally's the other day tried to tell me you have to have a license like a hairdresser's license to buy it but I've never used one before so I've never had to buy it before or like been asked that I've bought it a million times and I'm also using the Sally cream developer in 20 volume just because my hair is naturally blonde it should be blonde underneath of all this color and you know you can go ahead and mix this up and that's what we're doing today now I'm only doing this because I don't have to stack a whole bunch of purple on top just to remove it in a month and a half um, so, I don't know. I really enjoy being purple. I love being orange too, but I feel like my eye looks and everything look way more pretty, beautiful, dark, grungy emo with dark hair than it does with orange hair. It kind of limits everything. I also kind of want to wear like a dark red lip and everything on the like ceremony day, but I don't know if with the orange hair I look like a clown with it. I don't know sure, but let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and start putting this in my hair. Honestly, I've only been doing this for a minute, just like getting the top layer of my hair covered already. And you can see as it's turning not dark purple, you can see it's totally blonde under here. This stuff works. It's just a matter of thoroughly coating it. And if I do not thoroughly coat it, I do have an extra pack of this stuff. Just because I usually buy two and only bought one last time. And it'll kind of coat it. The rest of my hair and my ends are really, really dark though. So I'm not really sure how that's going to go. Okay, it is applied in my hair. I did actually use a second packet of the L'Oreal stuff because i had an extra one and i was like i really want to make sure everything's thoroughly coated evenly so right now i'm mint like i have a lot of blonde going on and i have mint green it should not be blue like i don't remember putting blue in my hair i remember using like a little bit of the purpley based black from good uh good eye young for my roots because they were fading and it didn't really work but i don't remember ever putting blue in my hair it was pink and then it was orange and then it was purple a blue, like a, not a blue base, or a pink base purple. So it shouldn't be green. But I might be mint after this. We'll see. And I do have to dye my roots or bleach my roots after this. And then I could stick the color on and be fine. Hopefully as long as it's not freaking green. Because it's green. I do this so many times. Like I've made, I've made a million purple to orange hair dye videos. But still somehow green comes out of nowhere. And I'm always still surprised. Okay, I may be filming the video where my hair finally falls out. This day was coming. I didn't think it happened right before my wedding day, though. I did this to myself, and I literally... Anubis. I literally cannot afford to get go to the hairdresser. Don't even act like like that's the best solution here. I want to be orange for my wedding day. I feel like I should get what I want. And um, it's not happening. And I'm panicking. And I'm freaking out. And I feel like I'm going to have to cut all my hair off. Like, I have extensions coming that are going to make my hair like, nice and long. And I was going to curl it. And have a pretty orange moment. But I feel like I'm going to cut my hair off. I like to get the green out. And it's green up here too, but I can cover that. It's down here that is so dark and I'm dying. I knew I still eat my plant. So I'm freaking out. I have a big kitchen bowl here because I'm gonna need to bleach bath it. I googled how to bleach bath because I've never done it before. So I'm gonna take my 20 volume developer, you guys. It's only 20 volume though. They say you can use up to 40, but that's scary. I also have my bleach powder. This is the quick white from Salon Care. I have a big bag of it. I'm not gonna use that much of it, I guess, because I'm scared that my hair is going to fall out because it genuinely might and I'm panicking. Panicking. I'm having a mental breakdown on the internet again. I'm going to use a little bit of this protein, this uh, neutral protein filler. 
just a little bit because I've never used it and it's supposed to fix your hair follicle a little bit. I also have a lot of Olaplex I'm going to be using after this. Then for the last thing, the bleach bath, I'm supposed to use shampoo. So I have this bamboo coconut water shampoo that I'm going to pump in here. And I don't know how much I need. I'm freaking out. Like you can see my spasming. It's not great. So I'm going to mix this all together. It's not much of a concoction. I didn't add that much of everything because I'm kind of scared of it. I'll probably add more shampoo. But this sounds with the bleach bath. They say use a clip and clip it off your face after this. This is so scary, you guys. Like, I, just, I do this all the time, and I don't really have issues. Sometimes it turns green, yeah. Like I said, I get green sometimes. But also, like, usually it's enough where it fades, and I can cover it up, and maybe it looks a little bit dirty on the ends, but it's not a big deal. And this is the one time where I was just freaking orange a month ago, and now I can't get this purple out and I don't know what I did to deserve this in my life and I cannot do this also don't like leave me mean comments about how I'm freaking out like how there's a solution to this don't tell me a million ways on how I could have fixed it I've done every single way of like how to do my hair by now and they're gonna say don't start off with the roots start off with the ends blah blah blah, blah. I left in there plenty of time okay y'all leaving comments after the fact does not help the mental breakdown I'm having currently don't get me wrong I like the advice because next time I learn how to do it properly but sometimes people are rude about it because I didn't do it properly to their standards and it's not nice. So I'm going to put this in my hair now. It's really liquidy. But there's some places where like over here it's high up green. And I'm panicking about it. Like I don't want to bleach my entire head. I need to bleach my roots. My roots are already blonde, yes. But to make the semi-permanent color stick I do have to bleach them. I just... Yes, you should properly part your hair when doing this, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to focus it on the most green parts because I really don't want to bleach my entire head. You know? Like, I'm going to make sure I coat the green thoroughly, run it through and everything. I just didn't think it'd be this green on the ends, and I don't know why it is. Okay, it's in. My, I did my roots last because, you know, whatever. It's also a little bit in my brows because I need to bleach my brows. I'm only leaving a couple minutes. That. Also, I'm already ready for the comments. When I was putting this, I was thinking... I'm already right for the comments. They're like, bleaching your hair is going to drive the green farther into the follicle. And yes, I'm fully aware of that. I just need it to lighten. And usually, this is the only way to get the green to lighten other than turning darker green. Even toner that's supposed to remove green for me, like a Wella toner, does not. So, I also did wash my hair when I did the color remover with dish shampoo to try to help some get some of the green out. And it didn't work. So, this is my only option, I feel like. If it doesn't work, I'm cutting my hair. And probably dyeing it back a dark color, which was just a whole point. Not, you know, like, don't ruin your hair, Bridget. Did it anyways. <sighs> I need to calm down. I'm freaking out a little bit. Okay, panic attack avoided partially because I figured out a solution. This is still green. It's green. It's terribly green. But I figured since this top layer is mostly blonde, right? Like, this is mostly blonde. Even though this green can be covered, this is the dark part. If I have to, if this purple does not, or this orange does not cover, I will just dye the underside of my hair dark red and red will neutralize the green also my hair looks like shit because i let it air dry like after i got out of the shower so that's what i'm doing i have a concoction of a little bit of conditioner and some sunset orange from arctic fox it's still a very bright kind of red orange but it'll fade without without like you know any trouble and have a month and a half so i have to recolor it so i'm gonna do this color should be no problem Alright, so this is the finished hair color again. This video did not go according to plan, and I probably still will end up dyeing this underside, which is kind of looking a darker color. And yes, I fried my hair. Yes, I regret it. But did I also achieve what I wanted? And in the end, I kind of won me versus hair color. That shouldn't have happened. Yes. So. You're beautiful, and you know it. Thanks, my hair is fried to death. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I, I mean, again, I under here it looks like not, not, not the cleanest. It kind of looks swampy in color, but it worked in general. And I mean, the roots look fantastic. The roots look amazing. It's just the ends are bleh. I could always just like add a little bit of red into my dye and like get them darker and even because it is kind of uneven out down here. It's kind of like a sandy orange, but it worked. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'm not going to mess with my hair anymore, at least for another month and a half, obviously, because that was the whole point of me doing this. 
but I'm gonna repair it. I'm gonna do a bunch of Olaplex, a bunch of conditioning treatments. Yes, is it gonna completely heal it 100% back to how it was? No, but I'm gonna do my best to make it healthier so it doesn't like break off on me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm just glad this worked. All right, bye.